Dazed, Luke staggered toward the front of the ship. He barely noticed the sound of energy bolts too weak to penetrate the ship's deflectors exploding harmlessly outside. His own safety was currently of little concern to him. With misty eyes, he stared at Chewbacca and Solo, and Solo adjusted controls. I hope that old man managed to knock out that tractor beam the Corellian was sailing, or this is going to be a very short ride. Ignoring him, Luke returned to the hold area and slumped into a seat, his head falling into his hands. Leia Organa, Organa regarded him quietly for a while, then removed her cloak. Moving to him, she placed it gently around his shoulders. There wasn't anything you could have done, she whispered comfortably. It was all over in an instant. I can't believe he's gone, came Luke's reply, his voice a ghost of a whisper. I can't. Solo shifted a lever, start staring nervously ahead, but the massive bay door was constructed to respond to the approach of any vessel. The safety feature now served to facilitate their escape as the freighter slipped quickly past the still-opening door and out into free space. Nothing, Solo sighed, studying several readouts with profound satisfaction. No much as... Not so much as an erg of come hither. He did it all right. Chewbacca rumbled something, and the pilot's attention shifted to another series of gauges. Right, Chewie. I forgot. For a moment there, there are other ways of persuading us to return. His teeth flashed with a grin of determination. But the only way they'll get us back in that traveling tomb is in pieces. Take over. Whirling, he ran out of the cockpit. Come with me, kid, he shouted at Luke as he entered the hold. We're not out of this yet. 